Hello everyone. In this work, we are going to address the problem of identifying images of unusual objects, which are defined as instances of an object, but not typical of that object. Uh, more in particular, we address this problem in an open world setting. That is, we aim to distinguish unusual object images from not only uh, regular Im images of this object, but images from other objects. And note that we only have regular object images and other object images as training data. Uh, there are two simple intuitive ideas motivating our proposed method. First, uh, first unusual object images should be similar to regular object images, but not that similar. Second, for regular object images, the regular parts should be densely overlapped, and this smoothness could be broken in unusual object images due to the existence of unusual parts. So, if we train a weakly supervised object detector for regular object images and other object images, the detection scores should be positive and negative respectively, and for uh, on your object images, the score values should be in between. And from the perspective of the spatial distribution of the detection scores, for regular object images, the region scores should be the positive region scores should be densely overlapped. And we can see for on your object images, the smoothness could be broken. Uh, based on these two motivations, we propose to use Gaussian processes to build generative models for regular object images and other object images. We assume the uh, region scores for training data and testing data are under a joint Gaussian uh, distributions. We define the mean function to reflect the prior on the score values, and uh, we define new covariance function which is composed of two parts, with one part serving as a score regressor in light of training data, and the other part encouraging the score smoothness. Once the generative models are built, we can test the unusualness of an image by fitting this to Gaussian models. Uh, Finally, we conduct the experiment on a new large data set constructed for this task, and both quantitative results and qualitative results show the advantage of our method. Thank you very much for your attention, and welcome to our poster session for more details.